In this video, we're going to start the process of assembly of our Do Nothing machine. So I've opened my Do Nothing machine document, and in it I find all of my parts that we've made previously. Now before we start the assembly, if you want to change the appearance of any of the parts, for example, I've clicked on the tab for the base, you can go over to the feature list and right click on the part, choose edit appearance, and if I wanted this to have a different color or appearance, I'm going to make this uh, kind of brown and it, use the green checkbox to accept that. And you can go through each of the parts and give them maybe a different color before you start the assembly. Now, looking at the tabs, each document when it was created has one assembly tab. So you should have that available. If not, go to the plus button on the lower left corner and you can click and choose create an assembly. I'm going to open this assembly tab and my first step is to start placing parts. So I'll go up here and use insert on the toolbar and it shows me all of the parts that are in this document. We're going to start by inserting the base, so I'll click on that once, and you notice it instantly shows up in my assembly area. Click once to accept and place it, and because this is the base, I'm going to fix this in our assembly area so it won't move around. From here, we can place other parts, so I know that I'll need one handle. I'll click to put that in. We'll need a handle pin, click, and click again to place it. We'll need two sliders, so I'll click on the slider, put in one, and put in a second one. Doesn't really matter where we put these right now. And then slider pins, I'll need one, and then I'll need a second one. With all of our parts in place, I'm going to choose the green check button, and we're now ready to start connecting our parts together using mate connectors.